home day? Yeah, get more done that way. We on for the game tonight? Yes. Good. What better to cheer you up? Get your mind off other things. Right. So, uh, I hear you've been spending some time with the girl you fished out of the river. How's that going? It's good. We, uh, we went to a party. Well, how did it go? Did you have a good time? Yeah, you know, I needed to get out of the house, so... Well, I'm glad you did. All right, listen, I've got to go. I'll see you tonight for the big game. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, I know you're busy. Never too busy for one of my boys. Good, because I, I have a favor to ask. Shoot. I want to move into the Spencer Cliff house with Hope. It's Liam's house. Still waiting on these couture designs. Mm. Hope, look, about the other day. It's fine. No. You said your piece, I said mine. I really didn't mean any disrespect. Look, Ivy, it's um it's just that Liam needs to take more time before jumping into another relationship. That's it. All right, but let's just not even talk about it. Let's focus on business. So let's talk about couture. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, I, I really can't start accessorizing until I get the designs in. So do you have any idea when Ridge is ready to show us something? Um, no, I know that he was in the office with Caroline. Are they working on it together? I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't expect to see you in here. You looking for Ridge? because he left. You two have a meeting? No, he just was um, helping me with some of my design work. Mmm, lucky you. I mean, Ridge is the best, right? It'd be great to have Ridge's mentor. That's a little strange, though. What? Well, it's crunch time, Caroline. We need that collection. <laughs> I'm surprised Ridge has time for you or anyone. Even Katie. Ridge will deliver. Wow. Really seems like you're his right hand. I just, I help wherever I'm needed. And he needs help? What is with all the questions, Maya? Please, I am not on the attack, Caroline. I'm glad you're spending time with Ridge. After all, you're the future. I mean, one day maybe you'll be designing our couture collection. Okay, well thank you for the compliment, if that's what that is but Ridge has a lot of years ahead of him. Hi. Hey, Katie. Uh, is Ridge around? Um... Why do you want to move into Liam's place? It's bigger. What? He's single, I'm married, he doesn't need all that space. Well, you don't either. I lived in that house with Katie. Oh, wait a minute. You're not about to tell me the Hope's pregnant already, are you? Grandpa Dollar Bill, <laughs> yeah, that'll blow a few minds, all right? And no, not yet, but it could happen. It's good to be prepared. Hey, it's not like I'm asking him to live under a bridge, all right? He could take my place. It's more of a bachelor pad anyway. I, I don't think that Liam wants to think of himself as living in a bachelor pad. Well, maybe that's the problem. He lost the girl fair and square, right? Isn't that what you've been telling him? It was. Just talk to him, okay? It's not good for him living over there all alone where, where he once lived with hope. Uh, maybe this will help him move on. A fresh start at the beach house. I'll even de white the place and fill the fridge full of tofu and bean sprouts. Okay, okay, okay. I... I'll talk to him, but I can't promise anything. Okay, thanks. 
And hey, I hear he's been trolling a bit. Ivy Forrester? Yeah. I just wish she had a different last name. So I heard you had a little dinner party the other night? Uh, yeah. It's just a spare the moment kind of thing. Any special occasion? No, not really. Who all was there? Ah, uh, you know, just the usual suspects. Caroline was there, Rick, Ali. We're all so busy, it's really hard to find time to hang out. Mm, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So it was just the four of you? Yeah. Yeah, Oliver was there as well, and, um, and, uh, Liam came too. By invitation, I assume? Your fiance, what a talent. Yeah, well, he says you have a bit of that as well. No, I, he definitely brings it out in me. And uh, you were here with them? No. No, I was just passing by, thought I'd check in. Everyone's waiting on those couture designs. Yeah, well, everyone will have to be patient. Ridge is doing his best. Yes, he is. Well, I better be getting back to work. Nice to see you, Katie. You too. I don't like the way that everybody's pressuring Ridge. I mean, he always comes through. Yes, he does. And he will. This time will be no different. It'll be another fabulous Ridge Forester collection. Why wouldn't it be? Right. You know, don't you? Rich told you. That he can't draw? Yeah, he told me. Hope I care about Liam just as much as you do. Okay, then you want what's best for him. Well, what's best for him is to sort this out on his own. Yeah, and I want to help him do that. Isn't that what we both want, just to see him happy again? Hey, go long! We'll work on that. Thursday night football, baby! Ravens, Steelers, tonight! I am so pumped. Are you ready? I'm pumped. I'm ready. I'm, uh... It's a little early for football, though, isn't it? What are you talking about? It's a pre-game meal. Don't worry. The pizza's half veggie. You can eat it. A little early for that, too. Well, I, I could leave it here and come back later. Or, or we could, uh, go watch the game at my place. Why? Why not here? You know, this place is kind of, uh, kind of cavernous. Yeah, that's why they call it a fan cave. Or, in this case, a Maza Liam. Ah. Or maybe a shrine to someone. Yeah, I, I gotta change that desktop eventually. Gotta do a lot more than that, Liam. I know, I know, Dad. I'm, I'm working on it. Let me ask you something. Um, do you ever think of moving back into the city? The city? Where the action is. You're young, you're single, you gotta get back in the game. It's not really me, Dad. What's you? I mean, being all the way out here, walking around this big empty house, moping? What? I like it out here, it's, it's peaceful. I guess what I'm saying is, you're, you're fresh out of a relationship, you spend a lot of time here with Hope, you know, wouldn't it be a, a good idea to get kind of a, Maybe a fresh start. Yeah, I'm not really ready for that. Well, get ready for it, Liam. All right? It's over. It's done. You gotta move on. You know, there's a woman out there for you, but you're not gonna find her camped out here on this cliffside. You gotta get out of this place. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? What's with the hard sell? Where is this coming from? Not a hard sell. It's just a... All right, well... Maybe it's just a little bit of a hard sell. 
there's a an issue. Issue? What? What issue? Your 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 brother stopped by my office, and uh, he wants to you know, uh, move back in here with Hope. Uh, what? He wants to move in here with Hope. Yes, we both want Liam to be happy, but I know him better than you do, Ivy. Yeah, I realize that. Okay, so believe me when I tell you that he does not need to jump into a romantic relationship right now. He's been running the treadmill with me for years. Okay, well, if that's what he needs, then that's what I'll give him. I wonder if you can be that objective. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? It's me you don't like. It's my last name, Forrester. Aha! Just the person I was looking for. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> Actually, uh, I met my wife here. Oh, should have guessed. Hmm. So, what's going on? I have some good news. Hmm, tell me. Mm, well, it's kind of a surprise, and I kind of have to work out some of the details first, but... Okay, well, color me fascinated. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Wyatt wants my house? Well, if we're gonna be accurate, Wyatt wants my house. Your house? What, whatever, I'm the one who lives here. Why didn't he come to me first? Because it's my house. Oh, come on, that's lame and oh, you no, know listen, it. Listen, don't, don't get upset, all right? Listen, here, I have a wing, you'll feel better. I hope you told him no. You told him yes? No! What? No, 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 listen to me. No, I said that I was going to talk to you. So can, can I do that? Oh. Can I, can I just, can I talk to you? First of all, Wyatt is married and you're not. What the hell does that have to do with moving in here? There's two of them. There's more space. Oh, oh, cause the beach house is so small. For a family. A family? Well, they're, they're thinking about it. Wait, wait, Dad. Is she pregnant? No, no, no. Okay, all right, then what's the rush? I mean, they can find their own damn house. What's the point of that? I mean, the beach house is great, right? All the peace and <sighs> tranquility that you want. Uh, or you could do what I suggested and, and move back into the city. How about that? No, no, you know, you know this isn't about the beach house, Dad. This is about Wyatt taking everything from me. Well, I'm not moving out. Period. I know that Rich doesn't want anybody to find out, and they won't. Not from me. <sighs> Thank you. For what? Well, I have been wanting Rich to tell someone about this, and I'm glad that he did. I'm glad that he was able to confide in you. I actually just kind of figured it out on my own. Right, you two are working closely together, so I'm sure you were bound to notice. He just, he couldn't sketch, not with out guiding my hand. He, he's such a genius, Katie. I mean, he has taught me more in the last few days than I ever learned in school. And you've taught him how to be a mentor. You've opened him up. He's gonna get through this, Katie. I know he will. Yeah, he will. And I really am grateful. This has been a nightmare, and he really needed a breakthrough. I'm the one who's grateful. I mean, I always knew that I was pretty good, but Ridge, he's, he's on this whole other different level. You know, all of his designs, every, every single one of them, it's like he knows what a woman wants to feel or what she needs to be beautiful. He dresses women like, like he loves every single one of them. You know, when he was guiding my hand, I felt this, this surge of energy. His lines, the, the way he perfected everything, it, it was all rich, but it was me too. He changed my career, Katie. He changed my life. Greetings, brother. Uh, 
I have a housewarming gift for you. You're moving. I assume you heard. Imagine me, crazy little Caroline, being able to give something back to a man like Ridge. I just, I want to see him get his gift back. And anything I can do, I, I will. You've given him back his confidence. <laughs> it's me giving Ridge confidence. It's, <laughs> it's unreal. But it is real. You're a talented designer, and Ridge recognizes that. You can't help him. It is what I'm doing, isn't it? Yes. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. You've given him something that even I couldn't. Don't worry about Liam. I don't worry about him. I care about him. Liam needs time to heal, okay? And, and then he can go on. Just please keep that in mind. Yeah. I will. I do. I hope. Look, we want the same things. We could do great work together. We should be able to get along. Just like what you want for Wyatt and Liam. And they will get along. I won't have it any other way. I'm not moving out, Wyatt. See, you're being stubborn right now, and, and, and I get it, and I know why. Oh, no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with you marrying Hope. That was you being an opportunist. And you being a no-show again. What? Whatever. You're upset about it, bro. I would be too. But at a certain point, we gotta get past all this. Hey, hey. I heard you shared a little kiss with uh, Ivy Forrester, huh? Seriously? That's your plate? You're gonna bring Ivy into this? Liam, it, no. It, it's, it's really more of a, a square footage issue here. You don't need all this space. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah, Dad told me you're planning a family. Let me ask you something. Is Hope in on these plans or is it just you? Please, I am not gonna argue with you about this. Yeah, that's right, because you know it's not really about family or kids or square footage. It's about you trying to gobble up everything that's mine. Wow, you, you really need to talk to somebody. Oh, I'm talking. I'm talking to you, and I am telling you flat out, this land is sacred. The history, the memories, it was promised to me by my father, and you are not taking it from me. I'm not taking anything. I'm exchanging with you, quid pro quo. Yeah, you keep your quid, I'll keep my quo. You're not getting the house. Liam, you are being unreasonable right now. Why, because I won't give up my home? Because I won't move out so you can have something else that's mine? Oh my. Wyatt, Wyatt, you already took hope from me. This. This is all I have left, and it will never, never be yours. 